happy Indie Author Day from all the folks here at Lulu. Uh, so today we're going to talk to you guys about establishing your author brand. So when we go to different events and we get to meet our authors and, and uh, other people who are self-publishing, they always ask us, how do I market my book? So the answer is real simple. You don't. You market your brand. And so if that seems intimidating or a little bit scary to you, do not worry, because we've got five steps that are going to help you develop that brand and market it as well. Step number one, get your mind right. That goes for anything that you want to do successfully, so marketing yourself is, is no different. So what you want to do is make sure you're in the right mindset. Uh, a lot of authors are uh, a little bit uh, reclusive, maybe. They keep to themselves. Getting out in front of people and marketing yourself or selling yourself can be really intimidating and overwhelming. And that's OK. What you need to do is just change the way you're thinking about it. Because when you wrote this book or when you created this project, you did it because you wanted to share something with people who you thought would be interested in it. So always keep in mind that you're not trying to sell anything, you're not trying to ask for money. What you're doing is offering a service to people who are gonna appreciate it. So just remember that you're just sharing knowledge with them that they're gonna find valuable and not so much that you're trying to beat down the door or go door to door selling vacuums or anything. That's not you, you're an author. You've got a brand to sell that's gonna help people uh, and make their lives better. You know, it's important when you're developing your author brand to really identify what makes you unique and what is going to make your books valuable to your readers. So always keep in mind what, what makes you different, what makes you stand out. And try to articulate it really well. You know, in the morning when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, go ahead and try to run through what makes you different and unique as an author. If you're not able to easily articulate those things, your readers won't be able to either. So always keep in mind what makes you different. That should be easy. That should be the easy part of your branding. So be able to identify those things right in the beginning of building your brand platform. And that's really going to help you along the way. So if you're still not convinced that you should be creating your brand, Keep this in mind, it's going to be developing whether you want it to or not. So why not take an active role in it and make sure that you're creating the brand platform that you want to have and that really showcases your unique personality and what makes you such a wonderful author. Imagine your reader walking into their favorite bookstore to pick up another book. They're walking through the bookstore, maybe they're getting a coffee, maybe they're seeing a friend, what's up Joe? Now they're at your genre. So they're looking at science fiction, they want a new science fiction book, why are they gonna pick you? So your author brand should be what pulls them to your book over all others in that section. So just keep in mind what you can be doing to develop an author brand that is unique to you and no other authors. So now you've got your mind right, so let's find out who you're going after. So step number two in building your author brand is gonna be identifying that target market. One way to find your target market is going to be reader personas. So what you want to do to kind of create your reader persona is think about your ideal reader. So go back to that bookshop from uh, the first step and think about the person that's looking for your book. What websites do they go to? What magazines do they read? What shows do they watch? Think of these things and where they're going to be and that's going to help you develop that persona and think of where they hang out, where they um, go to find news and target them with your marketing. So now that we've got our reader personas down, you know who they are, let's find out how big your audience is going to be. How many of them are out there? So you definitely know one because you just created it in your mind, but it's helpful if you have a little bit more information for where these people are in the real world. So there are great tools out there that you can use for free to help you uh, determine how big the market is for your book and really hone in on what these people are looking for. So your basic Google search is obviously a great way to look and type in keywords and things that are relevant to your book and your genre and just see what comes up. Um, another great one is Google Trends. So you can see what's trending on Google and maybe tap into that and get some of that market share. Uh, another really cool one is answerthepublic.com. So this one is sort of reverse engineering the Google monster that we're all familiar with. So instead of going and searching for a term, uh, what you do is put in the term and it actually gives you the questions that people are Googling or you know, typing in to find that term. I would definitely recommend trying out all three of those and they're all free so that's super exciting and won't cost you anything except a little bit of time. Plan your marketing around your goals. So as the title indicates this is specific to you. For every author, for every self-published author, the goals are going to look different. For anything that we want to achieve in life, you know, you have to set goals to make sure that you can measure your success and stay on track. So, you know, are you trying to sell your first 100 books? Are you trying to make it on the bestseller list? Are you, you know, trying to raise awareness that you just put out your first book? 
Those are all very different goals. So just make sure that you clearly define those so that at the end of the day, you can look back at that list and say, oh, yep, I'm doing it. I'm just totally crushing it with a marketing plan. Or, hey, I'm, I crushed it a little bit less today than I had hoped. So maybe let's go back to the drawing board and reassess what we're doing here. Your success is specific to you. So be sure to define that in the beginning so you can keep an eye on it all throughout the process. So our minds are right, we've locked in on the target, we've figured out that making it rain is the only way we're gonna feel successful. So now let's really hone in on not selling the book, but selling the brand. So how do you do that? How do you sell your brand? Well, you build it. And like we've been saying the whole time, there are a lot of different steps to building it. And one crucial step is an author website, or if you're already on Lulu, your author spotlight is a great way to get started with this. So an author website, of course, is where you can go for content, where you can have a blog, you know, you're posting updates, and it's where your readers can go to find a little more about you. So don't be afraid to show a little bit of personality. Um, and this is really where you can really set yourself apart and offer some information that your readers aren't gonna be able to find anywhere else. What's great about author websites is there are a ton of free resources that you can use to get started. So a couple of them are listed here. And one that I just wanna talk about briefly is Title Pager. So this one is specifically for authors. And so what you do is you can put in your ISBN, it'll pull the metadata and basically create a beautiful page for you. So if it's still a little bit intimidating, if you're you know, caught up on, on all this stuff and not sure how you're gonna do it, Title Pager is a great place to start. Another great way to create content and keep your readers interested is with a blog or email list. So, you know, blogs are always useful and it's a great place for you to put content that isn't necessarily about the books that you're writing. Maybe it's just about you went out and had a great day. Maybe you went to your favorite park. You went to your favorite concert. You're jamming out in the 311. You want to tell everybody about it. A blog is a great way to do that and to share with your readers a little bit more information about you that they might not get from picking up your book or looking at your author website. So there are a lot of great free resources for blogs as well. You can find them here. Um, Blogger, Tumblr, these are all great free resources that you can use um, to, to start building that blog and have it live on your author website. Once you have your blog set up, a great way to get the blog out there is with an email list. So again, there are tons of free resources that you can use to create your email list. Um, some of them are paid depending on what you want and your email subscription list. But email lists are a great way to keep your readers engaged um, and be giving them content regularly and let them know when you have new content. If you're not using email lists, definitely check them out because it can be a great resource and a great way to get information out to your readers. Obviously, no author brand can be complete without some social media game up in there. You gotta have it. You know, whether you like it or don't, you have to participate probably to some extent, unless you just found some really niche market that just doesn't have computers and We'll have to do another segment for that. But if you're like everybody else, then your readers live in social media. That's where they hang out. And that's where you'll be able to reach them and have some really nice conversations and get to know some of your reader base. So we all know there are multiple, multiple social media outlets and channels that you can use to connect with your readers. Don't feel like you have to use all of them. You don't. No one wants to have to check 100 different media, social media sites to find out what you're doing. So find out which ones make the most sense for you. If it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram um, or a combination of, of two or three of them, but don't feel like you have to jump in and use all of them. So just be sure that you are finding out what resonates the most with your readers and only use those channels if it makes sense. So now that you've got this baller social media presence established, keep an eye on it, see what's going on. So here are some great tools that are gonna help you keep an eye on the engagements and the mentions of your brand. Um, of course, Google Alerts is a really simple one that you can go in and just set up a few keywords and you'll get alerted regularly whenever these terms are searched and kind of help you keep an eye on what your readers are looking for and if they're mentioning you. It's definitely one thing to establish that social media brand, but it does take work to monitor it and make sure that you're keeping an eye on these engagements and seeing what resonates with your readers and maybe what didn't resonate as much. So definitely check these out. Last but not least, step number five, get creative and have some fun. I mean, this should be an enjoyable process. If you start to do something and it's draining to you, stop, just take a break. There is no formula for marketing your brand as an author. Every journey is different, every author is different, every reader base is different. So just keep trying things until you really find what works for you. But don't be afraid to think outside of the box. 
Um, you can host events at farmers markets or flea markets or places outside of the ordinary. You don't have to be chained to a bookstore to do an author signing. Um, feel free to rent out a space, rent out a bar, go to a restaurant that maybe has some similar themes as what you're writing about. Just don't be afraid to try something that maybe other authors aren't trying. And that's, again, going to be helpful in setting you apart and creating that unique brand identity that your readers are going to want to come back to again and again. So don't be afraid to take risks and even fail if you need to. That's okay. Hey, hey, we're here for a shoulder to cry on. Everyone's failed at least once, and if you haven't, go do it right now. It makes you a better person, so don't be afraid to take those chances and find out what really works for your readers. So these are the keys to building your author brand. So you already wrote the book. You're, you already did all the hard part. So now it's just making sure that people know that you did it. You wrote that book. You spent all that time. You shut yourself in your attic and wrote the best book ever. So tell the world about it. And these five steps are going to help you get your brand out there and market the way that you want to. So good luck, everybody. Good luck out there. And happy Indie Author Day from all of us here at Lulu.